My mom, when I was really young, would oftentimes work these night shifts. And I would sneak into her room while she napped, put the stethoscope on, just listen to my heartbeat. And I would always think that is crazy that with all that I am, this is the only thing that I'm hearing happening on the inside. And I suspect that she knew that I, was t I would take her stethoscope and do this. And she'd be like, yes, maybe I can get this, this child to become a doctor. <laughs> My name is Quentin Rashawn Bubb. I'm a sixth year MD-PhD student here at Stanford. I'm doing my PhD in stem cell biology and regenerative medicine. My research interests are broadly in the pediatric hematology and oncology space. My parents um, emigrated from Grenada in the mid to early 80s. My mom uh, started a career in nursing uh, pretty much as soon as she got here. My mom always encouraged me to become a physician large because um, she always wanted to be one. Being a black woman, in Brooklyn, New York, immigrant, it's not easy to just, you know, hop into medical school. I think that there are a lot of forces at play in New York City that make it hard for young black kids to thrive. And uh, my parents always thought it was critical to protect me and my brother from those forces as much as possible. Education was one major component of this, but also creativity was like, you know, the world can be on fire, but, you know, if you could play this instrument, you know, if you could listen to this gospel music, if you can appreciate this R&B, it's yours and no one can take that from you. My dad was also a musician himself. He um, played guitar and toured the island of Grenada and played a lot um, at that time. Me and my brother having access to the music was a way for the music to live on for him as well, even though he wasn't able to play as much. The same way that a musician can show up to a space not knowing where they're gonna go, but ending up somewhere and having the technical mastery to be able to accomplish that, that's sort of the, the energy that I wanna bring to be able to take an idea fr from you know, bench to bedside and like having the confidence to do that over and over again. In the lab, I'm working on a toolbox of cell therapies that can be hopefully effective in the pediatric AML setting. And the goal is that this single therapy can allow patients to have sort of a one-stop shop for both conditioning for transplant and an anti-leukemic therapy while displacing the need for chemotherapy or radiation. No matter how long we live, you know, cancer may always be there. If we are able to get rid of chemo and radiation, can we improve the outcomes and potentially cure? That is the focus of Anishka's lab. I think Stanford has a lot of infrastructure for lowering barriers between groups to think creatively together. That was a benefit that I think made Stanford really shine among some of the other programs I was considering. My mom was diagnosed with cancer in late uh, 2022. Challenging as mortality is, it's a fact of our experience. Um, cancer is, is one of these things, you know, a probabilistic, sometimes random thing that just could happen and could lead to really dismal outcomes. At any given time, there could be an option to, you know, make that person better or no option at all. This is entirely why I chose to do an MD PhD. You can see the person, you can be with the person, and you can provide uh, solutions, paths forward, clarity on the nature of their situation. The whole point of my research career is to lower the barrier for these future interventions to become possible. I think understanding that the decisions that I make and the person that I am and who I bring to my future patients can have a massive and positive impact on how they process their loss. My mom's death has been influencing that perspective a lot. My memories of her are evolving and impacting me currently and changing the way I think about myself. Every time she would try to motivate me, you know, at that time I didn't know that it would motivate me in the future. <laughs>